Wake Up Kenosha, Bill and Pete. Well, the weight loss journey continues, and young Peter Sargent is going strong, well over 100 pounds, and myself, well, I had a pretty good first week. Joining us now from Wayless MD and Wellness, Kenosha and Brookfield, Ms. Sherry Stoka. Good morning, Sherry. Good morning. I couldn't tell you how excited I was that I got on the scale. And last week, I started the program. And, you know, it was it was a struggle to start. It always mm-hmm. is. First week of any kind of weight loss situation. So it's a little bit tenuous. So I get there on Friday, uh, and I'm thinking, if I lose three, four, five pounds, I'm going to be doing good. So I get on the scale, and I'm thinking the scale's broken. Something's wrong <laughs> with it. Because uh, I was down 14 pounds. I know. I that couldn't was... believe it. I know. That. Is it, isn't that motivating? It sure is. And the second week has gone very, very well. Oh, good. Uh, and I've noticed, and we'll get to food or fraud here in just a little bit, but yeah. uh, a couple of benefits. First of all, I have more energy. Uh, and I was telling Peter earlier that for the first time in a very long time, the last three nights, I was able to sleep through the entire night oh, without getting so up amazing. to take care of business. Yeah. Uh, and that is huge. Yeah. Uh, my blood sugars have been at great levels. Uh, not where they were before in the 200s. Right. Back down where normal people have blood sugars. Right. You know, 110, 115. Uh, all because of the program and eating the right things and making the right choices. It's It's been spectacular so far. Now, I'm not going to say I haven't had uh, some ups and downs on this thing. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you're going to always have ups and downs, but mm-hmm. it's all part of the, the growing but process. My, but my body is adjusting to it now, and uh, I'm coming around mentally. <laughs> I'm adjusting to it. Yeah. But the, the getting on the scale and seeing uh, minus 14 was just unbelievable. I know. It's going to make every week is just going to be a little bit better. I know, and it's 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 going to be so fun to watch. We're actually going to um, dig into some of the labs that we did. That's you right. Know, they drew my blood last week, last so week. that's going to be fun. It was very cool, <laughs> uh, and uh, looking forward to Friday's appointment. Now, food or fraud? Uh, a lot of foods out there, Sherry Stoka, are marketed as healthy choices. So, what do you got for us in food or fraud today? Yeah. So today, should we go? Should we go with this? Today? Let's start with that to one. Start yeah. with this. Somebody okay. might be eating one of those this morning <laughs> That's for true, breakfast yeah. as we're talking about it. I know because it. it's actually. I think it's like a. It's a newer bar. So we're going to talk about one of the bars that, one of the zillion bars that are on the <laughs> They're market. They're everywhere. Yeah, everybody's got one. And so I see this one. Um, being marketed everywhere in the stores and online. So. So what is the name of this bar? It's called Love Good Fats. So they okay. they market it as the fat bar, not the protein bar. Okay. And um, so I think everyone is kind of familiar with now, you know, the keto diet and you know healthy fats and things like that, sure, which yeah. which I think has which I think is very important for people to understand. But I think we're taking it kind of a little bit overboard of in course. a way. But okay, so this so I did try this bar and. Um, they sell it by the way it tastes. I didn't actually. I thought it was n- not very good tasting. Okay. You guys can try this. I'll leave it for you. You can try it. But okay. So the good fats. So essentially, um, it's you know primarily fats, and so the macronutrient breakdown is total fat. It has 210 calories. Total fat is 13 grams. Total carbs are 13 grams, and the sugars are two grams. Okay. Or I'm sorry, one gram of sugar. That sounds reasonable. So that's good. So 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 far so good. This bar is decent. The healthy fats that they're promoting are um, peanut butter and coconut almond oil and coconut oil. Okay. So so that's what they're promoting. What is on the ingredient list? And I actually um, look to see what other people are saying about it. Is palm oil. All right. Which palm oil is just an, obviously another plant oil, and it there's a lot of controversy as it relates to palm oil. So this again, it's a marketing thing. They don't even so mention the controversy that. being that palm oil isn't that good for you, or well, that and um, so because some people say coconut oil isn't good for you either because of the high that, saturated yeah. fat, 
And, you know, people will argue all day long. I think there's can be some benefit, but I don't think anyone should be piling, you know, mounds of coconut oil, you know, on their food either. <laughs> so, but palm oil was very much, there was a lot of controversy with, um, with deforestation and they were basically um, doing all these things to, to create this, this oil in, I forget which country it was. So it has a really bad reputation to just. Okay. I can see why you wouldn't market your, your product based on it then. Right. With all that baggage. Exactly. So, so they never mentioned that, but it's the second ingredient. Right. You know. So is it food or fraud? I think it's, I think it's decent. You know, I think it's, I think it's definitely something, but I will mention that it is, it does have dairy. So it contains milk. All right, speaking of dairy, let's move on quickly to yes, yogurt. yogurt. You brought some yogurt in this morning. Always marketed as a healthy choice, Sherry. Yes, yogurt. so I did bring Chobani strawberry flavored. Mm. And, okay, so one, a couple things. Again, of course, I'm going to talk about added sugars. And what people don't realize is that um, yogurt has sugar because it's lactose is a natural right. sugar that's part of milk. So that's fine. It's, you're never going to not get sugars in yogurt. But the key is is to look on the label and look at the added sugars. So that's the sugar that they add to the right sh- to make to it sweet sugar. and yummy and delicious <laughs> to the sugar. Yeah. So they add um, eleven grams of Ooh, sugar wow. to Yikes. just a serving. So and is that one serving that you have there, or is yeah? It... So it's three quarters of a cup. So you're basically you're getting the lactose and then more sugar on top of that. Just chew on a sugar cube and a (laughs) and and a you know some string cheese and get the same idea, right? I know it's I know, but I will you know sugar. I mean sugar, yogurt does have some benefits with the probiotics. You know, I I will say that. So there's there's good healthy strains of. But you really got to read the label and know what you're getting into as far as added sugars. Usually for yogurt, my go-to is a Greek yogurt, but it's called, and I think the number two is even in the brand name where it has two grams of sugar, and that's how they they market it. So again, just to kind of, and there's a ton of yogurt. Is that the one? Is that too good? Too good. I think that might be is what. And I'm not. I'm not saying if it's food or fraud because I can't. We actually have some of that at home. Yeah. But um. But it's that's I found that to be pretty good stuff. Yeah, yeah, and they have another one I think called Triple Zero, which they take out. All, they, you know, they are just pulling out certain fats and certain sugars, mm-hmm. um, certain lactose to should get I, it lower. If I do eat yogurt, should it be Greek yogurt, or can I get away with eating the other yogurt? Or is there minimal difference between the two? Well, I, I definitely, I definitely think there's differences. You know, I think you'll play is horrendous. <laughs> That's a statement. <laughs> but, but you know, again, that's this... one dietitian's opinion. <laughs> wake, up, <laughs> wake up, Kenosha, brought okay. to you by you'll play yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, okay, but that's your generic uh, everyday yeah. kind of yogurt. I think there's more of a trend now uh, for Greek yogurt that seems to be well marketed, and people are. Are enjoying it more, I guess. So, yes. Uh, so yogurt, food or fraud? I think they both can be really healthy snacks. There you go. Just so watch out for the sugar labels. Now, Wayless MD and Wellness, Kenosha, Southport Plaza, right across from the Petco. You can't miss it. Uh, also an office in Brookfield. Individualized programs. You got to get a free, no risk consultation. Sherry, what's the phone number to call? 262-226-2046. We'll be there Friday, Pete. I'm hoping to knock off some more weight. All right. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling good about it. And uh, what's your number so far, Pete? Uh, 104. 104. Nice. Oh, yeah. I want to find out about those fast. Sherry. Okay. 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 (laughs) Thank you so much, Sherry. Okay. Thank you. uh, Have a great day. Lenny Palmer here after 8 o'clock this morning. Clock.